So when it comes to agentic coding, if you just try to refactor a large code base by just prompting every step of the way, you're not gonna get good results. So I wanna share with you one of the best techniques I have found for doing really large refactorings across your code base. First, sir, I'd probably pick a good model like Gemini 3 Pro or Opus 4.5, and then I'm gonna use Super Whisper to basically just talk to my computer. Can you refactor all of my code that's in JavaScript and refactor it to use TypeScript? When you're doing this, can you break up the plan into various MD files and mark them with incrementing numbers in front so that I can work through these in phases? So after kicking that off, you'll see that you have a plan folder with a bunch of MD files with incrementing numbers that kind of walk you through the phases of building this out. Typically, there's like a readme that kind of walks the LM through every single phase. So, and then if you just drop that readme into Claude code and kick it off, it's going to go through all your phases and kind of walk you through one, two, three, four. I'd say this gets you to about 80 or 90% of the implementation. You do have to still come back through and manually prompt some bugs and fix some things along the way. But this is a much better strategy than just prompting your way the entire time. If you found this tip interesting, go to agenticjumpstart.com. I have a course with over 70 modules and 11 hours of content teaching you how to do agentic coding, prompt engineering, context engineering, how to walk through cursor and Claude code. And finally, we're going to build out a full stack web application using some of my favorite technologies such as Drizzle and Tanstack Start.